Hey guys, uh, welcome to this uh, video. Uh, I hope you are doing great. Uh, today we are talking about uh, Japanese language and learning Japanese. And we can say that this is also the kickoff for my own Japanese studies. In this video I will cover uh, some of my background uh, studying Japanese and my experience from Japan. I will mention a few words about my motivation for wanting to learn Japanese. And then I'll touch upon what goals and targets I have with these studies. And I also go through some of the resources uh, and study techniques that I'm planning to use. Uh, if it's books, uh, apps, uh, audio, video resources and whatnot. But for now, let's uh, go ahead and jump in. Thank you for watching. So the other day I was thinking that uh, maybe there are others out there that uh, just like me are struggling to get started with their Japanese studies. Uh, so I thought that uh, maybe we can help uh, inspire each other to get started and keep going uh, learning Japanese. Uh, they say that there is no better time to start than uh, right now. Um, I'm planning to come back with uh, more videos uh, reporting back on, on my progress. Uh, if there is something that I've been struggling with and found more difficult to learn. And if the, the resources that I'm using are working out well or maybe not working out so well. And also if I come across uh, new resources that I think uh, is uh, uh, useful. Uh, so uh, check back. Uh, here again in a, in a few weeks. I have been working and living in Japan before. I stayed there for five years and I'm quite embarrassed to admit that I didn't manage to learn any Japanese uh, during my stay there. The reasons are many but the main ones are of course that I'm a lazy ass and a waste man. Uh, quite soon after arriving in Japan I signed up for some uh, Japanese classes. This was kind of a what they call the survival uh, Japanese class. Uh, I think it was uh, 26 hours uh, with one-on-one uh, -on -one classes uh, with a Japanese teacher. Uh, we centered the curriculum around uh, this book and the way of teaching was uh, what I would call like a situation based uh, uh, meaning that uh, you learned uh, how uh, to speak in the bank and whatnot. They will say like this, you will respond like this, they will say like this, uh, you say like that. Or in the library they say like this, you say like that, uh, and say they say like this and, and so on. And in the hospital and in the uh, convenience store and, and so on. I was not really used to this uh, way of teaching. I was more used to this old uh, school uh, uh, way of teaching. You learn the vocabulary, then you learn the grammar rules, and then you try to uh, form your own language. You try to say what you want to say. Uh, I think that I would have uh, uh, learned more from, from this, uh, these classes if I would have been more open-minded to this uh, uh, situation-based uh, uh, teaching and and uh, that I would have adopted uh, uh, my my uh, my studying accordingly. All my Japanese colleagues and friends took really really good care of me and they were super nice to me. Maybe a little bit too nice. They spoiled me too much. Uh, so um, maybe this is <laughs> one of the reasons that my Japanese study results were not so good. The company also helped out a lot. Uh, and uh, I got all the help I needed uh, when uh, fixing with the apartment or, or internet providers and uh, whatnot. Uh, so my life in Japan uh, was uh, very uh, comfortable and convenient in this sense. A few years after these uh, survival Japanese uh, classes, uh, the company arranged uh, for uh, us, a few foreigners, to have a, a Japanese class. I think it was uh, in total uh, 90 hours uh, spanning over two semesters. Uh, we had a really good uh, teacher, uh, Kuramoto Sensei, and uh, she helped us to form or shape uh, our uh, class curriculum uh, according to our wishes a little bit. Uh, 
we could uh, impact a little bit what we wanted to study. Uh, the classes were though uh, centered around uh, this book and I think this book was uh, kind of very very good. Uh, it uh, uh, explains well the different uh, uh, grammatical concepts of, of the Japanese language and so on. So I think this is something that I would use in my my studies now as well. Uh, these uh, classes I, I felt that I, I had a, a good use of. I learned, I felt, uh, uh, quite a lot, uh, especially during the first semester. Then during the second semester uh, I got this a little bit spoiled uh, because of many, many business trips. I think I missed uh, almost half of the classes, so I couldn't really keep up with the others. So that kind of demotivated me a little bit. My motivation for wanting to learn Japanese is partly revenge driven. Uh, making up for the missed opportunity learning Japanese when I was uh, living there. Uh, no, but the uh, main reason is uh, Japan is a fantastic country and I would uh, like to go there at least as a tourist many times. Uh, and if I get the opportunity I would like to live there uh, again. I think f as for any country if you know the local language uh, this will uh, enrich in your um, uh, experience of, of, of visiting the country. Uh, as a tourist maybe you don't need uh, to speak it fluently but a few words will will uh, take you a long way. Uh, I have of course a uh, higher ambition than, than a few words. Uh, I would like to be able to freely travel around and, and, and speak to the, the people. Uh, how about you? What are, are, are your motivation for wanting to learn Japanese? Uh, please leave a comment uh, down below. I've been thinking quite a lot about what goals and targets I should have for these uh, Japanese studies. I wanted uh, something that I could uh, measure progress on and it's not been so easy to figure this out. Uh, uh, but uh, the main point here, I would like to reach some kind of level where I can maintain some simple conversations on, on um, several different uh, topics. Uh, I guess that would be some kind of a beginner intermediate level and I think that uh, if uh, connecting this to some kind of standard or whatnot it would be the, the European standard, the, the CFR uh, B1 level um, I guess. Uh, um, and, and that's uh, wh wh where I'm, I'm, I'm aiming at. I'm not sure yet how to, to measure the progress here. Maybe I can uh, find some tests uh, on, on, on this uh, so I can uh, see if I pass or, or not. That could be something that uh, I can use to judge the, the progress. Uh, one thing that is more measurable is uh, I would like to uh, uh, study one hour per day, um, every day of the week. That's uh, seven hours per week. Uh, I think that's uh, quite uh, an aggressive target, but uh, I think that is uh, something that you need to, to, to make some progress. Uh, at least I will try with this. Uh, then I was uh, considering if I wanted to uh, learn kanji characters and, and how I should measure this. Uh, there is the, the Japanese uh, proficiency language test, the uh, JLPT. Uh, uh, I think the N5 level is uh, around uh, like uh, 100 or, or 110 uh, kanji characters. Uh, so uh, if I would go for learning kanji characters, that would be my goal to reach the, the N5 level. Uh, this uh, first phase, if I can call it the first phase, I imagine will uh, last for six months and I will have an evaluation on my 
my uh, study resources and study techniques and so on and the progress uh, after three months that is at least what I'm thinking right now let's see how this goes uh, how about you uh, what are your uh, goals and targets with your Japanese studies uh, uh, feel free to leave a comment uh, in the comment section of this video. When it comes to study resources, I'm uh, planning to use uh, the Genki uh, books as the, the base for the, the, the curriculum. Uh, Genki is a kind of a well-known uh, book. Uh, which many many Japanese students are using. Uh, this is the first one uh, which I'm going to use. Uh, it also comes with like uh, uh, some uh, exercises uh, and and so on. I think this is this would be the base uh, for my studies. Then, as I mentioned before, I will use this. Uh, this book uh, which contains uh, I guess most of the the grammar concepts of the Japanese language um, with some exercises and so on so I I think this is a, a good one and I would use this uh, quite a lot uh, if we continue on the on the book uh, path here I uh, I realize that many of these textbooks also use uh, hiragana and katakana quite a lot and it can be quite time consuming to, to identify those characters and, and read uh, hiragana and katakana. So I think if you uh, practice this uh, and uh, f make it easy to read the hiragana and katakana, then your uh, study efficiency will uh, improve quite a lot. I bought uh, uh, some uh, books with uh, short texts in Japanese, mainly hiragana and katakana. So uh, you can practice uh, reading and it also uh, is written according to how uh, Japanese books are uh, written uh, and you also have some explanation here translation and explanation of the of the text uh, in in English as well so that will help you a lot internet is also full of of good resources uh, i'm a fan of youtube of course and i follow at least uh, three channels that i would like to recommend uh, today uh, the first one is uh, japanese ammo with misa i think uh, um, this is a, a good channel for for um, learning some of the 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 casual and everyday uh, Japanese expression. Then we have, uh, I think the channel is called Tokini Andy. Uh, I think this is also a really good uh, uh, channel. The third one that I'm thinking of is uh, Mochi Real Japanese uh, that I also uh, like when it comes to Japanese expression and so on. Uh, I will uh, put the links to those channels uh, down below in the in the in the description of this uh, video. There is one more channel I would like to recommend, and that is uh, Dogen's uh, channel. I will put that uh, link as well. Uh, he talks a lot about uh, the pitch accent and so on, uh, kind of how the how to pronounce the the, the Japanese. Uh, uh, language uh, this is really good i think when it comes to software i don't have any special plan using any any app or or, or software or so on uh, i'm considering if i should use uh, anki dex uh, kind of a, a flip card uh, app uh, that to study uh, the the genki vocabulary and maybe the the kanji characters uh, i haven't decided this yet when it comes to uh, study techniques, uh, I think that uh, uh, output is, is very important. So, uh, meaning that uh, speaking out loud, uh, when you read something, uh, when I'm reading something, I will try to uh, speak it out uh, loud. Uh, I think that will, will be uh, helpful um, to actually uh, adopt your muscles uh, uh, to uh, to speak in the the new language. Uh, I also planning to use uh, what is referred to as a shadowing, uh, meaning that you have a 
audio material or video material with the text and you kind of repeat what the the, the recorded uh, video or audio is, uh, is saying and shadowing this so to say. When it comes to study techniques then we have the spaced repetition concept that this um, seems to be a, a, a very good thing. Uh, I've used it in the past with, a, with good results studying other languages. Uh, then uh, when it comes to the, the my study hour per day I'm planning to split this up into different segments so I will uh, not study just one thing during one day I will split this up into or three segments if it's uh, a vocabulary for 20 minutes uh, then uh, maybe grammar for 30 minutes and then uh, pronunciation or maybe reading hiragana or katakana uh, for 10 minutes and so on. This uh, study hour I'm also trying to put this as a, as a focused hour so I will not split that up into different uh, uh, times during the day so at least this is my plan. So I think this was it when it comes to uh, resources and study techniques uh, that I'm planning to use. Uh, I'm really interested to hear what you are planning to use or what you are using when it comes to study resources and, and study techniques. What is uh, working well for you and what did you find not work so well? Uh, please, uh, please leave a comment uh, down below. Uh, but uh, I think this uh, was it for this video and I hope I can come back reporting on the progress uh, for my studies in, in a couple of weeks. Uh, thank you for watching and see you soon again.